Hi, in this video I'll take you through the Ainsworth service module. We will go through the very basics and see how we can make use of this module to control and manage services on a Linux operating system. Let's jump straight into it and see how we can do that. Before we dive into the service module, let's take a look at the Ubuntu machines and see what services we have available. So we can do that by typing service dash dash status dash all. And here we get all the services listed that we have available. And as you can see on the left side, we have either a plus sign or a minus sign. The plus sign means that the service is running and the minus sign means that the service is not running. If you see a question mark over here, that means that the service service status is not known. And this format is like this for my Ubuntu operating system, but it could look different for other operating systems. So if we take a look at Apache 2, for example, we can get a more detailed look by typing in service Apache 2 status. Here we see that the the service is actively running and it has been doing so for one hour and 30 minutes. We also see a lot of other information which is useful in many situations. You can also get this information by typing systemctl status apache2 and this is another command which can be used if service if the service command does not work. So the difference between them is that the service is an adequate for basic service management and it gives you a higher level of the services available on your system while the system CTL gives you a greater control over options which you can perform when looking into your services. So Ansible can help us manage all those services so let's jump into Ansible and see how we can do that. Now let's make use of the Ansible service module to control the services on our machine. So the first thing I'll do is that I will become a root user and I will then create my first task. So the name of my task will be stop a service if it's started. We will make use of the service module and we will provide that with a name and a state. So the name is the name of the service that we want to change the state of. And in our case, we want to change the state of Apache 2 and the state will be stopped. So this will make sure that Apache 2 is stopped. If the service is already stopped, then this won't fail the playbook. It will just make sure that the service is stopped. So let's execute the playbook and see if we are able to stop it. As we can see, we changed something with this playbook and we did that because the service was started. So in this case, we changed the state from started to stopped and we can verify that by typing systemctl status apache2 and we now see that the active state is inactive and we can check that for both machines and we see that this machine also has an inactive state for apache2. So let's start the service again and we do that by typing started. So let's run the playbook. We see that we changed something again. And if we take a look on the machines, we find that the status is now actively running. Let's just try to run this playbook again and see what happens. Because now we are trying to start an already started service. We see that we did not change anything, but the playbook verified that the service is actually running and it is started. Besides started and stopped, we have restarted and restarted will basically just shut down the service and start it again. Then we have reloaded and the difference between restarted and reloaded is that reloaded will remain running but it will rewrite configuration files. So those four states are basically the states that we can use to control our services. We have started, stopped, restarted and reloaded. Besides that, we can also check for availability. So let me change the name to uh, availability. And we still make use of the service module and we have the same name, but instead of state, we will check if it is enabled. And here we type yes. So let's execute this playbook. 
and see if this service is available. If we take a look at the result, we see that we did not change anything, but we got an OK, which verifies that this service is available. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Like and subscribe if you want to see more of this in the future. I post videos every single Sunday. So stay tuned and I will hopefully see you in a future video. Take care.